What's up YouTube? Jeff back again, DomeTechDaily.com and today I'm continuing my coverage of the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus and today I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite accessories for the S10 and the S10 Plus. Now I want to start off with these sort of in the order of importance and the order that I use them. So we're going to get into some bags and some cases first then we'll move into some more uh, optional luxury items that you might want to use with your S10 and S10 Plus. The first item I want to talk about is the Silent Pocket Faraday sleeve. I've reviewed this product before, but Silent Pocket now offers it in a leather variant, which I really like quite a bit, as you guys can see here. You can see that the Silent Pocket sleeve is definitely large enough to accommodate all of your larger phones. In fact, right now, I have the Galaxy S10 Plus on the inside of the Silent Pocket sleeve. Now, of course, the Silent Pocket sleeve is not just a case or bag to protect your device. It is also a Faraday sleeve which means when you slip it in the inside pocket right here, you're gonna see all the connections sort of disappear. You're gonna lose all that sort of, any possibility of spying or geolocation or any of those things. Blocks RFID readers, all that stuff. And you can see my Galaxy Watch just vibrated because it also connects uh, Bluetooth from the watch. It will disconnect. So very nice to have this if you're interested in security, privacy when you're traveling. I travel a lot, so it's a great thing to have for me. Uh, it also has a sleeve that's on the inside. If you don't want to lose connection to your cell service, you can just slip the Galaxy S10 Plus in the front pocket when you're traveling for easy protection and easy access in your bag. So they now offer it in leather. They also still offer it in the nylon if you're interested. I will drop the link below to Silent Pocket for all your safety and security needs. The next thing I want to talk about are cases. Of course, cases are very important with the Galaxy S10, the S10 Plus. You've got such fragile phones with all that glass, you're gonna to want to protect them. The first round of cases I want to talk about are Rhino Shield uh, from Evolutive Labs. They have a couple of cases they sent me out. Huge thanks to them for sponsoring the video as well. As you can see here, the solid suit case, which I have right here in carbon fiber, has some very unique features, premium finish, durable material, raised up lips, all drop angles, it covers everything, snug fit, uh, three millimeters thin, 30 grams light, uh, and you can see there it's got the BPA, BPS free. Shock spread technology, which is their next gen material, you know, protects you from all sorts of drops, things like that. Uh, these samples are sort of sent out to me for review purposes. They will have wider availability of the solid suit very soon. All colors to complement the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. You'll also be able to upload your own photo to customize the cases quite a bit. Uh, I do have another version right here, which is the plain black version. You can see the contrast there compared to the carbon fiber. Now, the other case I wanted to talk about from Evolutive Labs, which is actually a bumper. That is their bumper that they've had for very many generations now called the Crash Guard Bumper. The Crash Guard Bumper also has that same shock spread technology, which is really nice to see. And also you get sort of a very, very, very slim profile. So if you don't want to use a case on your device, this might be an option for you that you're interested in. Really easy to just snap it on there. And then you can see here you get protection still, raised up lip on the back and the front. And you can see the color of your device. You see I've got Prism White right there. Looks very nice. They're going to have colors that will match all the Galaxy S10 colors when they come out, which is definitely something that you like. They will be up soon for order. I'll drop the link below along with a promo code so you guys can check out all of these cases, the Solid Suit and the Crash Guard Bumper from Rhino Shield. Next up, I want to talk about some cases from my friends over at Prodigy. They have a wide selection of Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus cases, including their Safety, Safety Steel, and Superstar lineup. I'll show you all those in a second. Um, this one is drop tested up to two meters. All three of the cases in the lineup are indeed there as well. Uh, military STD 810G spec. Uh, you also have, of course, full protection. It is a slim dual layer design, uh, shock absorption, and they are screen protector friendly as well. Now this is my particular favorite right here is the one that comes in the smoke color uh, for safety. Uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like on my phone really quick and then I'll show you sort of some of the remaining options that you have. This is what it looks like on my ceramic black Galaxy S10 Plus, as you can see right there. Very nice uh, match to the color of the phone. Slim profile, buttons, and all of the ports are on point as well. You do have a raised up lip there for the protection, and it is wireless charging compatible as well. So you guys can see here all of the different sort of color options they have. They do have this one particular one in the glittery pink color, which will probably also stand out to the ladies. Uh, they've got a couple other in the Superstar series as well. I will drop a link below in the description along with a discount code if you guys want to check them out from my friends over at Prodigy. 
All right, the third case selection I have from my friends over at Skin It. Huge shout out to them for sponsoring the video as well, sending these out to me. This is mainly if you want to choose a custom design, perhaps with your favorite comic book character like Captain America, or also your favorite sports team. They offer skins for tons of things on their cases, uh, PlayStations, uh, pretty much every phone that you could be interested in, but specifically for the Galaxy S10, the S10 Plus, you can see a very slim profile. These cases are also very easy to pop on and off. I also verified that these work with wireless charging as well. You can see they also have a lip around front, nice button covering there, and all the cutouts are on point. So if you're interested in something that's sort of customizable, you can upload your own image as well at Skinit's website. I will drop a link below in the description uh, if you want to customize your case. They're gonna have a couple more coming out later. This is their clear version, uh, which is the slimmer of them, but if you want something a little more protective, I will have their pro cases coming in soon, and I'll be reviewing those as well. They did give me a promo code, which is Jeff25. If you guys want to hit the link below and customize your own case at Skinit.com, I'll definitely drop that below. Let me know if you guys have any questions when you do that. And if you do get a design, let me know which design you chose for your Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus. All right, YouTube, so now that we've seen some protection options, cases, bags, the next thing that you're gonna wanna have when you carry around a Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus is something to wipe the fingerprints off of your device. You can see this device easily gets a lot of fingerprints on the front, also on the back as well if you go without a case, and you're gonna want something to wipe that off. Now, I've recommended microfiber cloths before, but definitely my favorite product that I've ever talked about when it comes to getting fingerprints off the front of your device is the eye roller. The eye roller is definitely the best product for doing that, and I've talked about it many times. Basically, you've got a tacky sort of material right here on the eye roller. It's easy to wash and clean, so you're never gonna have to worry about uh, this getting dirty and you're not able to reuse it. Just running it under the faucet will actually clean this up and allow you to use it again. The way it works, right here, just run it over your device, on the front, gets rid of all the fingerprints, all the dirt, you guys can see right there, just looking at it, the eye roller definitely works. This has been one of the products that I've definitely sort of recommended and sold the most uh, on previous must have accessories videos. People have bought tons of these uh, from Amazon on my recommendation and they love them. I use the product every day. I no longer really use microfiber cloths because of this. The eye roller will be linked below in the description from Amazon if you want to pick it up. It is definitely a must have in my opinion. The next thing that you're probably going to want with the Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus is some expandable storage. Samsung allows you to have expandable storage on the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus. And sure, it does already come with a lot of storage, 128 gigs base. But if you like to port movies from device to device like I do, you're going to want a reliable SD card. The SD card I use is the Samsung Evo Plus. You can see it right here. 100 megabytes per second read speed, 90 write. Uh, this is good for 4K, all sorts of things like that. You can, of course, get them in larger flavors if you're interested, but these are very cheap, very good deal over on Amazon, and I'll drop the link below. Lots of people always ask, what SD card do I use in my devices? This would be the one that I use right here. Next up on the list is a wireless charging solution. So, of course, the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus do have wireless charging, and you're going to want something to use that with. Now, Samsung has a lot of wireless chargers available, including the Duo, which charges the watch and your phone at the same time. But if you don't need that, uh, their wireless charging convertible stand is actually on sale at Amazon and a lot of other locations for a very cheap price. I particularly like this stand because of the fact that it is a convertible and you can also stand up your device when you're using it somewhere like the office. So this is definitely a good deal and if you don't mind having the older generation charger, it still gives you fast charge and you can get it for a much cheaper price and will charge up your phone. Now if you do want the version that has both the watch and the phone charger built in, I will link that version below on Amazon as well. It's just a little more expensive for that particular version because it is quite a bit newer. Next up on my list of must-have accessories for your Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus is headphones. Now, of course, the Galaxy Buds did arrive with the S10 and the S10 Plus, but so far I've been using them and I'm not a huge fan of those headphones. If you're looking for something a little more punchy, something a little more bass, and also a little more functionality, the Bose QuietComfort 2s I've recommended many times. I did a full review on these. These have Google Assistant functionality, which allows you to press the button to access Google Assistant, which I actually think is quite a bit better than Bixby and works with the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus perfectly. The downside, of course, is that these headphones are quite a bit more expensive at a little over 300 bucks. But if you're looking for a quality pair of headphones that still interface with your Android device in a really nice way using Google Assistant, these are a great option. There are also some other Assistant enabled headphones that I recommend. I will drop links to all of those headphones below in the links in the description if you're interested in picking up Assistant enabled headphones for the S10 or the S10 Plus. 
final accessory I want to talk about with the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus is the Galaxy Watch Active and the Galaxy Watch. Now I did pick up a Galaxy Watch Active which is the new release. It's quite small on my wrist. Uh, I think for most guys it's going to be a pretty small watch. Uh, that's one reason why if you're going to get a smartwatch, I would recommend looking at the Galaxy Watch as well as the Galaxy Watch Active. The previous gen's a little bit bigger, looks a little more substantial on my wrist. I would even consider the Gear S3 Frontier or something like that if you want a little bit bigger Samsung watch. Uh, these are definitely the best watches out there to pair with your Samsung device because you're going to be able to take advantage of Samsung Pay, uh, all the Samsung features, and it really pairs and integrates with the device well. Uh, if you're a lady, this is a perfect watch in my opinion. My wife saw this watch and she wanted it immediately because it's a perfect size smart watch uh, to fit on a smaller wrist. A lot of smart watches, as you guys know, are not really made to fit with smaller wrists, uh, so this is a perfect opportunity. Uh, once you get it, you're going to go ahead and pair it with your Galaxy wearable on your Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus. You'll be able to set it up, customize it, use it for fitness tracking, and all those sorts of things. So I definitely recommend a smart watch, especially with the new pricing of this watch at $199. You can already find them a little bit cheaper online, and I will drop links below so you guys can check it out if you're interested. Anyway guys, that's a look at my must-have accessories list for the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus. We've got cases, we've got smartwatches, headphones, uh, all that sorts of stuff, the eye roller, the Faraday bag, all the links will be in the description below along with the discount codes the brands have offered. Huge thanks to all the brands for sponsoring the video. If you guys liked it, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter, the links in the description. Really appreciate you guys checking this one out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.